Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Sarah here. This one is going to be a review video on the um, Baby Delight Snuggle Nest Dream Sleeper. Um, my personal review and why I'm sending it back. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so maybe this can help you out um, and just kind of like, I don't know, I just wanted to share this with you because, uh, you know, I love helping. So, okay, first off, let me just say there's nothing wrong per se with the product. It seems like it's really great quality um, and I am still pregnant. So I don't know if you guys can see, I am still pregnant. I'm six months pregnant and um, we, I ordered the Snuggle Nest because I saw it and it came, I ordered from Amazon. And if you are gonna order this, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on who this might work for and who this might not work for. So hopefully that can save you a little bit of money. Now, if you are ordering, look on Amazon. And here's my tip. When you're on Amazon, there should be a little link underneath that says, see all buying options. When someone like myself orders a product like this and sends it back, they have to um, give it to you at a discount. Okay, so you can get snuggle nests for like 15 to $25 off um, Amazon price. And the Amazon price is way cheaper than if you were to go to the company's website. So that is my first tip is to order from Amazon. And if you would like, I will include the list down below to my personal Amazon storefront. If you wanna support my channel, when you order through my link, I get a small kickback from that which is awesome because, and I appreciate that so much because you guys, it really, really helps be able to make more content for the channel. Okay, so that being said, here's the Snuggle Nest Dream. And the concept of this thing is that it's got a, it's super lightweight, it's a really high quality material, um, it folds up and then baby can go in here and it's got a, you know, machine washable bed and then the baby can like, go in bed with you. Now, I know that that's a hot topic. Please, um, no matter what you're doing, safe sleeping and you know that whole thing and please make the decision that's best for you and just don't be judgy of other people. So anyways, that being said, I ordered this because I nurse. We have a gigantic, like larger than king bed upstairs and we plan on having baby next to us. Like. Um, and I didn't want to get a big freestanding bassinet. We have a really incredible pack and play. Um, but just like for that first little bit, I get anxiety if the baby is not right by me. So this is baby number four for me. So I thought that maybe this would be good. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you, this is a pain in the apples to assemble. I almost sent it back because of how hard it was to get together. And I'm making a video for you. If you do decide to purchase this, you're probably gonna wanna watch that because I, it took me 45 minutes to set this up, which is so stupid. Like I could not even figure it out. So that being said, here is the actual snuggle nest. So as you can see, the head portion or the foot portion tucks into the head and then it's got velcro here and it's got a really handy carrying case there's a bunch of different colors um there's nothing wrong with it the fabric seems pretty high quality but what i could can tell you is that i'm a little shocked because i thought that the mesh would be more breathable i, I was honestly really shocked when i got it to see like how, I don't know if you can tell, like it's double layer and it's almost like, so this is two layers and then this is two layers of mesh. So there's four layers of mesh here. So it's not as breathable as I thought it would be. And to be totally honest with you, um, I don't think we're, we would be utilizing it. And here's why. So there is a 
bassinet um, that's removable. And as you can see, I can see you straight through this. So it's super breathable. This came with our pack and play, you guys. So, and, and it has this like attachment on it right here. So it's got the vibrations, the night light. There's a little night light on this side. Um, and I don't know, like as soon as I got the snuggle nest, I was just kind of disappointed. I thought that the walls would be higher and they're really not. Um, I also thought that it would be easier to like, I don't know, they made, did, did, they just, it just seemed like, I don't know. The idea was better and I was supposed to get a thing that came on the side of it and it didn't ship. And so I was kind of just bummed out. So this thing is super long. The snuggle nest, as you can see, it's like really, really long, but I just don't think that we would be utilizing it. And so I'm going to send it back because it was like, you know, you know, it's like 50 bucks. And for me, I feel like our pack and play that came with this bassinet is just going to be a much better, more functional deal for us. So the pack and play that I have is a Baby Trends pack and play. It is the black and gray one. It is amazing. It's got um, this bassinet that attaches on both sides. So it literally sits right into the top of the pack and play and it rocks back and forth like this. And it's got this thing. And so, and the sides are like, look at that, really breathable. So we're just gonna use this instead. Like, honestly, I thought that I would like the snuggle nest more than I do, and I don't. And so for me, um, also, you guys know that we are still in a long-term vacation rental. Um, maybe you didn't know that, but we're in a long-term vacation rental. A couple years ago, we sold everything. We went minimal. We're not doing a huge nursery. And so for me, I don't want to have extra products and like baby stuff that is not going to be a hundred percent essential. So all of the baby stuff that I have, I want it to be functional <clears throat> and also portable um, because we're going to be moving either this fall when baby is like two to four months old or next spring when he's like six to eight months old. So I just want to think about that. Um, and for me, it was like, okay, the entire pack and play was like less than 120 bucks and it's so sturdy. It came with a bassinet. Um, so I don't really need the snuggle nest and that's like 50 extra dollars. And honestly, I don't know. I just, I wasn't super impressed with it. The other thing is that this has a handle on the top so I can literally carry this like if baby's in there. I can pick it up like a car seat. This locks into place. I can pick it up and take it places. Um, <clears throat> the bottom is metal. So if I wanted to go sit in my three season porch or if I wanted to, I don't know, like carry the baby somewhere <laughs> like outside because we've got our, you know, our dock and our lake and all this stuff. So if I want to go outside, I could attach the mosquito net, you know, thing or the sunshade to this and baby could just stay right in here. I also like that it's higher up off the bed. I don't feel like, I don't know, like I just feel like this would be easier to get stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like to get stuck in the covers, like the covers could go like right along this side. And I don't know, it's just, it's not as breathable as I thought it would be. It's just, it just, it, I don't know. It's just not what I expected. And so, it's going back. Now, if you are someone who is not using a pack and play, or maybe your pack and play didn't come with a bassinet already, um, then maybe the snuggle nest would be for you because it is very portable. And then I, but I was also like, how often am I going to be traveling with my baby where I would need this thing to be super portable? I really don't <laughs> like, and if we're gonna go somewhere, I can always just pop that bassinet in the back. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what we're gonna do. So if you're gonna be traveling, 
this might be awesome for you if you don't have a bassinet this might work for you or maybe you are fine and like you know you're not minimal and you have a nursery and you have extra money and you're like yeah whatever it's 50 extra dollars let's see if i like it and if i don't whatever so anyways um that is nothing against the snuggle nest it seems like a really great idea and concept um i have nothing against the quality of materials it's i mean there's a couple places around where the threading is like you can see like the stitching is like but again overall it looks like it's really really well made i mean it really does like but like i said the mesh seems a little thicker than i expected and i just honestly don't think i would use it enough to justify 50 dollars. so there's my <laughs> very honest review on the snuggle nest and why i am returning it so i'm really curious to hear what you think if you're going to purchase a snuggle nest, maybe you are not going to purchase it. If you have any questions, let me know below. And as always, if you want to check out the snuggle nest or the pack and play that I have, I will go ahead and link my Amazon storefront down below. So thank you so much for watching this review video. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up. Um, and I will go ahead and link my Instagram as well, where you can find me on Instagram stories almost daily. So thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.